One Deathy Map here to show you my updated version of my Rose deck. This has been updated for the links with some surprising removals from the ban list. However, I am missing one card that I will get to when I talk about it. Let's start with the extra deck first. We have links now, such as Deco Talker. Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow. Land for Nikus. I don't know how to pronounce it. Traffic Ghost. And those are my links. Now I do want to add Aroma Seraphy Jasmine, which is a very powerful link monster, which can it can uh protect any plants it points to, including itself, from being destroyed by battle and contribute any monster it points to in order to summon a plant from the deck. It is a very powerful card and I will add it when it comes to the west. And for my synchros we have Aroma Seraphy Rosemary. We're gonna have two of them but since I am missing Jasmine we do have three in the deck right now. We have my Garden Rose Maiden I'm going through these quickly because I don't really understand links too well so far. And I've already talked about the synchros at length in my previous video. A Splendid Rose. My Black Rose Dragon. Again, we have three here, but when I do add Jasmine, there will only be two. Since I believe the extra deck can be only limited to 15 cards. And finally, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. And now for the main deck, which has quite a few changes. Starting off, we do still have Swords of Revealing Light. However, no more Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So I decided to pair it with Mirror Force as the anti-attack cards. But we only have two Mirror Force, no more Walled Thorns. Instead, we have Storming Mirror Force. And Drowning Mirror Force. Next up we have my Graveyard Manipulation cards such as Mark of the Rose, which you all know from my previous video. Two of them. Miracle Fertilizer. This time I only have one. And for a very, very important reason. Monster Reborn is no longer banned and is limited at one. Miracle Fertilizer still is a very, very powerful card and integral to my deck. However, I decided to keep it at just one and instead having Monster Reborn and Call of the Haunted. Two fairly standard monster retrieval from the graveyard cards. As well as Reinforcement of the Army, which I used to search the deck for either Twilight Rose Knight or Rose Archer. And, speaking of limited to one, we have one for one, which you can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, special summon one level one monster from your hand or deck. This card is powerful, surprisingly, especially in regards to my Lynx and Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. I'll show you why in a bit. We have Twin Twisters for my... Replacement for a Mythical Space Typhoon, which you discard one card, then target up to two spells or traps on the field, destroy them. And, Galaxy Cyclone, you can target one set spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up spell trap card on the field, destroy it. You can only use this effect of Galaxy Cyclone once per turn. A very, very powerful anti-trap duo. Perfect for replacing Mythical Space Typhoon in my opinion. But we still have one Polynosis. 
and we still have my two rose archers, which can be switched to with reinforcements of the army, since it is a warrior monster. This card can be dis discarded from your hand in order to negate a trap activation, but only if you have a plant type monster on your side of the field. And we have my tuners, Twilight Rose Knight. This time we have three of them, because it is a very powerful tuner in regards to my deck. We have Nature Area Rose Whip still. And we have Glow Up Bulb, which is a one star monster that if it is in the graveyard, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon this card. You can only use the effect of Glow Up Bulb once per duel. As such, we have only one. And speaking of one stars, we have Rose Lover, which in, in the graveyard, you can special summon one plant monster from your hand, but you have to banish Rose Lover. And we have two of them. It is a very, very powerful card when combined with one for one. We have Lone Flyer Blossom, which is still very important to my deck. We have three of them. We have Rose Witch. However, this time we only have two Rose Witch. Simply because I wanted to replace one of the Rose Witches with a Botanical Lion. So we do have four, sorry, three Botanical Lions, making that five four star monsters perfect for Black Rose Moonlight Dragon or Black Rose Dragon. Next we have the Fallen Angel of Roses, both of them, and of course we do have the Princesses, Cherubime, Titaniel, Marina, and of course, Talia. Now that is the updates to my Rose deck built to Link 